The Labor Department says the nation's jobless rate has plummeted to 9.4 percent. That's a much better showing than expected and the lowest jobless rate in 19 months. At the same time, employers added 103,000 jobs in December. That marks slight improvement from the previous month. Now we know these numbers can bounce around from month to month. But the trend is clear. We saw 12 straight months of private sector job growth. That's the first time that's been true since 2006. Indeed, but while the jobs report may have a feel-good tone to it, the administration acknowledges that much work still needs to be done. I think there's a lot of good things that are happening, and we'll fully know next, next year, but I'm optimistic, but we're not out of the woods. We have to keep focused. Fed Chairman Ben Bernanke shares that view, saying that a four-tenths of a percent drop is encouraging, but it's still not enough. It's not a number that's going to, um, if we continue at this pace, we're not going to see sustained declines in the unemployment rate. Release of the report comes amid rising expectations for 2011. But for many job seekers, folks like Greg Wilkerson and Jason Ford, the turmoil of unemployment is immeasurable and is darkening their own outlooks. Not having a job means uh, that you really can't plan your life. You know, the thing is, without the stability, it becomes difficult to find, a, you know, to, to, to have a normal sort of existence. It's, it's really took a toll on us financially. Uh, um, my son and I stand to, uh, we had to move from our place to, uh, to the city shelter. And that's where we're at now. Most economists expect hiring should pick up through the end of this year. But untangling this intricate mess that is unemployment shows there's still a ways to go in bringing down the jobless rate. And there is possibility that it may go up again because as people draw down their unemployment insurance and start to look for jobs again, it could possibly go up. One reason that could happen, says workplace expert John Challenger, are stresses in the government sector. It's about 14 percent of the jobs uh, in the U.S. and inevitably those jobs are going to start to decline uh, as uh, governments in the country begins to deal with the heavy deficits. Although the recession has been declared officially over, the American economy is still trying to dig out from the worst decline since the Great Depression. Mark Hamrick, the Associated Press, Washington.